Hi everybody, um, just doing you a quick review on the V2 focus auto top up. Now, I don't know if you remember my last videos, in the end here I had a three day top up tank with a ball valve in here, but um, the diaphragm had gone in the ball valve and I couldn't get a new one. I did get a new one but it was um, it, it was still letting water through so I had no control over I was topping up every day because otherwise the water level was getting too high. Now water's high is, is high in there at the moment I've just done a water change. Anyway the auto top up it was 52 quid off of eBay and what you get for that is this little float switch in a little sealed container so it's protected. The water level water goes in the bottom. They you know, they recommend you clean it out every week. Um, rather than having a suction cup like it says on the instructions, it's got a magnet. So that that's never going to fail um, so you set that at the height you want and as the water drops below it it activates the smallest pump in the world which is plenty adequate so now I've got a my big one of my big water change buckets like we've all got here salt buckets then you get this little pop, top up pump so you just drop that in the bottom of your bucket. Comes with tubing where it pumps it back in and uh, a Gucci little clamp which holds your tube so you haven't got to worry about it popping out or anything or rigging anything up. So it does exactly what it says on the tin really. Um, I will show you it pumping because although I'm topping it, my water level is still equalising at the moment. They say this should be in an RCD. Um, now you can see that pumping out there. That's that little pump. So it's only doing a squirt all the time. So what it does is that just tops it back up until the float switch comes back up, switches it off. Piece of piss. It took five minutes to fit. Took half an hour to get the old top off out, so I've still got to clean the mastic and that off. But that's no trauma. Yeah, anything I've got running at the moment, those two reactors I've got. I've got a an old drip tray. That one of my old tanks. I'm going to fit that in over there and put some more media in that. What's in that bag? That was char um, carbon. Activated carbon because I filled that reactor up too full, the water pump wouldn't pump it through. So I'm going to rig up a tray there for the excess water overfill to go in there so it gets filtered through the carbon again. Um, anyway, that's the V2 auto top up. They do do one with two float switch switches, so you've got a fail safe in case one fails. But, um, I don't know how much extra that is. Comes with a good set of instructions. And what it, thing it does have that you have to fit is this little, I don't know if you can see it there, because there's not much light in there. There's a little that, little tube there which has got an, an air siphon in it. So when it turns off, you can't siphon the water back out again which is a good idea, so you can only, your bucket can only be three quarters full because that needs to be in the air and vertical otherwise when it turns off it just siphons the water back out um, but yeah, good okay, bye